issues. Unfortunately, whilst on a Margate meltdown, my bike... I would love to know what road they're doing that on. Because they're getting like fifth gear. I don't know if you can hear that or not. She overheated when I, when I got to the seafront and I was going slow along the seafront with all the other bikes. I had a fan warning come up and she got to about 120. It's a photo that I took when I stopped. We're gonna start with the easiest and cheapest fixes, checking the fuses. So we're gonna pull the fuses out. We're gonna test them with a tester. I do have new fuses if need be. These are a fantastic bit of kit. You can get cheaper ones for about nine quid on Amazon. I'll drop a link down below where you can, where you can grab one. So we're gonna check the fuses. If it's not that and they're all good, we're then gonna move along the wiring, unplug the fan from the harness, and then we're gonna put a direct 12 volt feed to the fan. Because it is literally just a live and neutral. The theory is I should be able to put a live and neutral direct to the fan and it should just spin up. So you can either use the battery, take the battery off your bike and use that, or, because I've been lazy and I don't want to take the battery off, I'm just going to use a battery charger, because again, it just put out 12 volts. If it's not that issue, then it's going to be further along in the wiring than it might, if we're then talking ECUs and all sorts, and hope, I don't want to go down that route. Um, I know it's not a fluid issue, because we've not leaked any fluid, we're not blocked up anywhere, but I know it's not because of coolant levels, because she's still full, and we're still pressurised. So for me, it's an electrical overheating issue, not a fluid overheating issue. What does fluid mean? What does fluid mean? Yeah. Liquid. Oh. Like ink? ink. Ink's a liquid, yeah. So let's get the fairings off, pull the fuses, bell them out, and then we're going to take it from there. So let's... You mean Gowie? Let's get it cracking. with this bike mm. I've got there's little lugs that way so we just could pop it there and then yeah yeah give it a little wiggle and we're off and then it's same for this so I know on my bike I've got two I've got two fuse blocks there and there next to my battery so check your manual for wherever your fuses are hopefully yours are in an easier place to get to but yeah so fuses battery and fan, which is down here. So I'll bring you in closer so Where's you can see. The fan? Pardon? Where's the fan? The fan is. Yeah. No, it's here. Why are you just on the fan? Oh, so look, Charlie, if you look under here, yeah. can you see inside oh. there? Look. No. That feels a bit stiff, that fan. Yeah. Yeah. I it sh it should be that stiff. I can see your finger in your but I can't see the fan. Well, if you look up inside it, Charlie, you see the fan. You see it? Yeah. So the way this works is, mm -hmm. is the engine gets hot and the coolant, water, cools the engine down. But the engine makes the coolant hot. That makes no sense. It don't make sense until I explain this bit. Mm -hmm. The way it works is, is there's a little pump inside the, inside the engine, mm -hmm. called a water pump. That pushes the water around the engine, there's like a little jacket inside, through these pipes, yeah, into the radiators. You see all these tiny little lines, there, yeah. yeah. Well, the water gets pushed in them. through them lines. Yeah. No, not in there. In here, yeah. And then the fan, when the fan's going, I think my one sucks air in. So it pulls air this way, yeah. Through here. Through there, that's it, yeah, through there. And yeah, then the, the and then the wrong. air cools the engine down. Cools the liquid down. And then we've now got cooler liquid, yeah. Going around the engine. And that's how it keeps it all cool. Like what, all year? In a matter of speaking, yeah. So that's how it works. And the what's reason, that? that's the rear suspension shock absorber. Oh. We'll get this back another day. All right, so there's all, all my fuses. All right, Andrew. Yeah. Do you know much about fu fuses? 15. Well, that's, right, okay. Right, so these are big because these are for cars. But same thing, but the bikes are smaller. You get a blade, a blade, and that mm -hmm. little piece inside, yeah? Yeah. That's the actual fuse. So mm -hmm. when you get a surge, that'll pop, protecting your safety circuit. But if you flip it around, see the two metal pieces? Yeah. Yeah? 
so we can test with a tester without pulling these fuses out. Mm. Yeah? So let's get the tester. Checking fuses. Now you can pull them out and visually have a look at them. So this one is good because it's all intact. And then this one is broken. So grab your tester, turn it on. If you've got a multimeter, then put it onto the bell mode. And what you want is when you make the circuit, you get that beeping. So with the fuse out, we go on one blade, another blade, and we've made the circuit and it's good. If we can't see if it's broken or not, test it. One blade, next blade, and we've got nothing. Check it again. That fuse is no good. But when it's on the bike, we're, we're gonna, same principle, but we're doing it from the top side, so we don't have to take them out. One and two. Can't get it on there, come on. There you go, there you go. and we're good. That one's good. And check this one. And we're dead. So, good fuse, bad fuse. Now on the bike, it's a lot smaller, so we're gonna go up, we're gonna, we're gonna blitz through all the fuses, and then hopefully, We'll find a blown one. That'll be the easiest fix for. Mm. Fair. Turn it on. Yeah, let's so get power. Mm. And then we're checking for a circuit, yeah? So that mm. is, it's got a battery in it. Yeah. That is a circuit. So right now, nothing's happening. Let's create a circuit so we get a beep, yeah? So we're going to go through. And then see there. Mm. That one's good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, good. Oh. Yeah, please, yeah. So again, we don't know if they're spares or if they're part of the circuit, so right, that one's, yep, yeah, good. Oh, that one's not made any noise. So go back to that one. Nothing for a minute? No. All right, so we'll pull that one out and uh, we'll have a look at it. Grab the uh, fuse puller, pull that fuse out and we'll test it. Ah. Uh, it's, it's looking a bit manky, that. So we'll pop it down on something non-metallic and then we'll test, test it again. One. Get a beep before you go to it, yeah? Yep, so we, so we know that's, that's good. Yeah. Now touch each blade. All right, so we're good there. So why are we not good up here? Well, I can see that it's not broken. So if I hold that. All right, so that's, that's dirty. Full of cack. But we know it's good, yeah? Yeah. Because we tested the, um, so test it again. Yeah, we're good. So even though it's got a little bit of crap on it, on the top side, yep, yeah, this side's still good. Yeah. Because we've got a, so if I pop that back in, We've gone for all the fuses, yeah. they're good. So the next is a fan. So we're gonna come down and look, thankfully with this fan, it's yeah. just that one wire, yeah? So we're gonna trace this wire to, to the nearest plug, pull it off and we'll put a, a direct 12 volt feed to the fan. Yeah. And that should, because you bypass it everything then yeah. by putting a direct, direct feed onto it, power that up. So let's get the cable cutters out. Cable tie cutters, even not the cable cutters. They'll be cutting cables right <laughs> uh, in the toolbox. Now we'll see where this goes. Oh, that wire, thankfully, goes to this plug here. So yeah. I just undo that. So what we need to do is we we can see on there. Whoop. We can see on here we have a live and a neutral. Yeah. All right. So Andrew, test your tester. Yep. One in one hole, one in the other. Right, so what that's telling us is that there is not a break in that wire. Um, and the, the entire circuit it, within the fan is being made. So we need to now put power to it, just to double check there's nothing physically yeah. wrong with the fan, yeah? If it's, that's all good and it spins up with that, then we know that it's not a fan issue and it's from the harness onwards, yeah? Wow. Well, now it's not the fuses, so we can go through the harness, check checking for breaks, and then eventually to the ECU, which is what we don't want, because that's going to cost a fortune. Okay. So let's get power to that. Check this fan. Right, what we got? Yeah. Normal 12 volt battery car charger. Mm -hmm. 
got it on there because it's non-conductive and also on a mat. We don't want these to touch at any point. Now you can do this with a battery. Yeah. yeah? Again, same, same principle, yeah? But we're just getting our power from, from there. Thankfully, I've got one of these spares. Yeah. So we've stripped the plug off there, yeah? And we're going to put, so they're females. Yeah. Put one male in there. Mm. Bend that away, yeah? yeah? Put another male in there. I'm going to bend that away, yeah? Because we don't want these to, these to touch, okay? So if we have a look, all right, this side is the black. So we're going to connect the black one up. Yeah. 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 And then, fingers crossed, fan works. Yeah. Touch it and it should go. So you can, you can hear it spinning, but it don't yeah. sound good, does it? Yeah. So. I said it didn't feel right, didn't I? It feels a bit stiff. All right, if we pull the fan off, yeah. hopefully we just give it a grease. So we now know that the fan works, yeah? And it didn't sound good. Oh, give it a pull. That's it. Right now, pull that bit of plastic off. Pull the plug, be careful. That's it. Now, we have access to the fan. Pull the whole unit off. And then, I don't know if you can hear this. I think there's a bit of grit in there. Bit of, bit of crap that was stopping it spinning. I'm not gonna pull the fan off because they're pressed on. So we're gonna hopefully get in there, give it a good clean out. Bit of a lube up and then we will be golden, but yeah, nice, cheap and easy fix, yeah. hopefully. So let's give it a clean then. So nice little clean, some brake cleaner, and then we'll give her a lube up with some WD. Now I could feel there's a bit of grit in there. So I'm hoping that was just it. What we're gonna do now, yeah, same, same as on the bike, we're going to connect up our 12 volt supply. Find the neutral. Right, very carefully, give it a... I mean, it's not brand spanking new. Mm. But it's not seasoned anymore, it's not getting stuck. Yeah. So... Let's get on the bike. Let's get it fitted. We're all built, so we tested it. Checked it, happy with it. We built it back up. The only thing left to do now is start her up, let her get the temperature, and we'll see if the fan kicks in. Because it was getting seized. But what, we found a bit of dirt stuck in the fan. So we managed to sort of clean it and lube it and then like grind it and we'll work it loose. So hopefully that, that will just fix that issue. But um, do you want to do the honest starter up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll go let it down. I'll let it down. It's hot in it. Can you yeah. feel the heat coming off of that? Yeah. <laughs> so we seem to have fixed it. How long it lasts, I don't know. But whilst it was all off, we did take a photo photograph of the uh, part numbers and we took a measurement of the fan, you know, just, just in case. But yeah, I thank you for your help, Andrew. It's okay. And then the next video will be whatever next issue this Italian thing throws at us. So uh, catch you in the next video. Mm. See you then. Come on, get me in a moment. If you love me, let me go.